guys welcome back to my channel another day of vlogmas so today i'll be making some jamaican sorrel drink for you guys um this is a traditional thing that everyone well majority of jamaicans drink around the holidays around christmas time so i'm gonna show you guys how i make it i don't know about anybody else but this is how i make it so i'm gonna show you how i make my sorrel drink and another name some persons might know sorrel as is hibiscus um pretty much the same thing uh, but i am not using the fresh um the fresh what you call it it's the plant or whatever i have some dry sorrel here so i bought this bag a year ago last year this time and i still have a lot left so i already poured out what i need so this is, I'm going to show you guys how it looks. So it's dehydrated. So it's all dried out. So when it's dry, this is how it's going to look. It's all dried out. So this is the, the flower. I think. I'll insert a picture of how it looks right here. Like when it's not dehydrated. So this is how it looks right here. And I'm going to use two cups. I'm going to use around two cinnamon sticks i have some <laughs> i have some um some ginger that's kind of background and i'm gonna use the peel from this orange so that's pretty much what you're gonna need and you can if you want it to be sweetened you can sweeten it with sugar and you can also add some rum to it that's what a lot of persons do I am going to make it in two batches, but the batch that I'm making today, I'm not going to add any sugar and I'm not going to add any rum to it. But let me show you guys what rum we usually add to the soil. So this is the rum that we would add, the Rayan Nephew White Waterproof Rum. This is the rum we would add to the soil if we wanted rum in it. So I'm not going to do that one today. But in another video coming soon, you guys will see me using this again. Alright, so I'm going to get started. I'm going to use 6 cups of water. Well, roughly, I might add more depending. And we're going to put everything to boil. So I'm just going to speed through here and show you guys as I do what I'm doing. Okay? Alright guys, so that is pretty much it. You just put everything in the pot and you're going to boil it for about 5 to 10 minutes. So let it boil up, let the pot bubble boil up for about 10 minutes and then you're going to turn it down and let it simmer for another 30 minutes. And then you're going to take it off. So I'm going to let it boil. So when it's boiling, I'll come and show you guys how it looks when it's boiling. And then we'll take it from there but that's pretty much it we're gonna let everything boil together and then I'll come back and show you guys 
All right, so this is it. We're going to turn this down now and simmer for 30 minutes and then it will be done. So turn it down on low and then let it simmer for 30 minutes. So you see this rich red color? Very rich. So yeah, so those are the petals. You see the orange and the cinnamon and stuff. So we're gonna let it simmer for 30 minutes and then we'll be done. Alright guys, so our sorrel is done. I'm going to do one more stir. Look at that. Oh god, I can't wait to drink some of this. Nice. So I'm going to turn this off now and then let it cool and then I'm going to transfer it into my pitcher. I'm going to transfer it into this. I think this holds nine cups, two liters, somewhere there. So I'm going to transfer it to that once it's cooled and then we're going to put it in the fridge and then we'll come back tomorrow. So it's not going to be done right now so this is going to be until tomorrow so we're gonna let it soak overnight in the fridge and then we're gonna strain it in the morning so i'll come back tomorrow morning when i'm doing the next step All right, good morning guys so yes i just woke up <laughs> um i i'm a bit rough but anyways I'm gonna finish the sorrel now. So I'm gonna take it out of the fridge, let it um, cool, and then I put it in the fridge overnight so everything can, you know, percolate and, you know. <laughs> so, here it is. I am going to transfer it to my picture. I don't even know if I like the whole nice, but. We're going to try, but yeah, we're going to put it in here. I'm going to strain it as well. So, we need our strainer. It all that can fit so I'm gonna put the remainder in something else but that's pretty much it that is pretty much it for the sorrow let's do a little taste test is it and then at this point you can go ahead and sweeten it with sugar and add a little rum to it but I'm going to let it sit like this and if when I am drinking mine I'll sweeten it in my cup and if I want a little rum I'll add it to it but this is it pretty much that is it for the sorrel drink I'm going to put this in the fridge but yeah so yes guys, yeah, so that is pretty much it. That's how you make the Jamaican sorrel drink. Another name for it is the hibiscus. Um, yeah, so I'm going to transfer the rest into another um, container I have over here. I have this one. I have this one. I'm going to put the rest in this and put it in the fridge and we're going to drink it for the remainder of Christmas and I can make some more as needed um, I think I'm gonna make some more just for Christmas Day and put it in make a smaller amount just for Christmas Day because it's not gonna serve no long time so yeah so I'm going to end this little video right here and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs> you're kind alright guys change of plans I am going to this is what I got from the second container. I am going to 
um, sweeten this one. So I'm going to add some sugar. <laughs> I'm going to add some sugar to this one. I'm not going to put any rum in there because I'm still nursing, so I don't think that would be a good idea. <laughs> but yeah, you can add rum to it, as I said. But I'm going to sweeten this one. This is going to be just for me. So, help me. So I'm going to add some brown sugar. I don't want it to be too sweet. I'm just a little bit. So, am I the smallest one or am I the lowest one? Hmm? Yeah, okay. I'm going to go almost sweet in this. Oh. So, I use this. <laughs> but this can't fit in me either. Jesus. Okay. Well. I'm going to use the angle. No, oh, she has. So, sweet me. Just mix it until all the sugar dissolves and then it will be good. Get to mixing. It's much longer. I'm going to end the vlog here again so I'll see you guys in the next video bye